Now here they're asking you for the range of the quadratic function and they're not giving you the graph. But we know in order to figure out the range, all we need to know is whether this is opening upward or downward and then what the y value of that vertex is. So I do know that because this is a positive one here, it's going to open upward. So then I know that range is going to be from whatever that y value is up to infinity. This one is going downward because of the a is negative. So I know that my range is going to be from negative infinity to whatever that y value is of the vertex. But now to find the y value of the vertex, the x value I memorized the formula for, right? So we're going to do negative b over 2 times a, which ends up being negative 2. And then you're just plugging in negative 2 into the function. So you get 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. So then what is the range? It's negative 4 to infinity. Over here, same thing. x is negative b over 2a, which is negative of negative 24 over 2 times negative 3 which is 24 over negative 6, which is the x value negative 4. So the y value is negative 3 times negative 4 squared minus 24 times negative 4 minus 47. And so we get the y value of 1. So then the range here is going to be, since it's going downward, is going to be negative infinity to that 1 y value. And that's the range.